Two Works For You starts now with breaking news. Good afternoon. Thank you for choosing Two Works For You at noon. I'm Julie Chin. Of course, that breaking news, an Oklahoma earthquake. Everybody's saying, did you feel it? Facebook, everybody's talking. I'm sure folks talking at lunch this day. I can tell you that uh, I'm upstairs on the second floor of my home here in Jinx. We sure did feel it. A whole lot of shaking going on here. Brandon Woolley back at the uh, studio. Brandon, I know you felt that earthquake right before the show as well. Certainly, Julie, about 11.48.49 is when the studio shook here in Brookside. I looked up and the studio lights were shaking. And it's certainly not the first earthquake I've been through here in the studio, but anything over a four, you're going to feel shaking here in the studio and all across Oklahoma. Now, it has been upgraded to a 4.2 from the USGS. This located just to the west of Interstate 35, about 27 miles west-northwest of Stillwater. On the line this afternoon is our state seismologist, Dr. Jake Walter. Thanks so much, Dr. Walter, for joining us. Happy to be here. All right, Dr. Walter, we had a few threes going on during the 10 o'clock hour and then the big 4.2 just before noon. So what happened today? Yeah, so, so we are observing seismicity in an area that has historically been linked to wastewater disposal activities. And as you mentioned before, there was a 3.5 and a 3.7 around 10.17 separated by about a minute apart. And then subsequent from those earthquakes, we saw a small number of aftershocks, and then we had the, the larger event that you already mentioned. And we've, we've already uh, uh, recorded three aftershocks, three smaller events from that event, and we can expect the aftershocks to continue. Now, the, the seismic hazard in the area is elevated, and we'll continue monitoring that, that situation. Now, with your studies of seismology, Dr. Walter, are you expecting another bigger one to occur or just smaller aftershocks throughout the day in the next couple of days? Well, earthquakes make other earthquakes. Um, that's why we have aftershocks to begin with, and we can't begin to sort of understand or predict those types of activities. But just know that the seismic hazard is elevated. We expect aftershocks, and there's always a chance, a very small chance, a finite chance, that a subsequent aftershock could be larger than the events already observed. So, so people should be alert. All right, we'll be on the lookout for it today, maybe, or the next couple of days. Thank you so much, our state seismologist, Dr. Jake Walter, joining us here on Two Works For You at Noon.